Do you ever find yourself in the neighborhood finding too much scrap? All you need is the patented Scrap and Pallet Man bed extender. You can go from eight foot to 10, 11, to 25 feet. You can get as much scrap as you want. Ratchet strap, sold separately. Put it out. I put it out. Thank you, I appreciate that. Need to go in the landfill. There's some metal there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for too. That's good. That's my my favorite. It just makes a clicking sound. Okay. It, it, so it's, it does work. It goes click. <laughs> like in, the, in another two minutes, click, and then the middle burner won't come on sometimes. But uh, so it's making this noise as you're cooking. No, no, just as you're walking <laughs> around the house. It's not even. A, oh. Yeah. Yeah, you know that's not good. So no, and then so all the buyers are going. We well, need a new oven here. Like, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That, they. That's reasonable for them to be screaming that. You're a professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I definitely do this. Uh, this is what I do for a full time. I say full time. I mean, in a part time kind of way. <laughs> I don't think I do. Do I do a 40 hours a week? Probably not. I could say. 30 hours. Yeah, full time's kind of pushing it. But I do like to get to work super, super early. So, probably done by noon. keep track I probably should keep track of my work hours huh I got a message from the car guy and said that he put out a toolbox in front of his house and uh, well he's not kidding that looks like a toolbox I think I just found the funny bone in my thumb. I just whacked it <clears throat> on the corner of the speedometer. <sighs> and it went bling. Yeah, lightning bolt kind of action. <sighs> hmm. This toolbox. I mean, I don't know. Rum line. <laughs> Might be keepable. It's, it's sturdy, that's for sure. It's sturdy and awkward. from uh, my bike guy and he said bring some bins because I have a whole bunch of small parts here's my bottle of water just wonder where that went oh my goodness Greg that is the biggest pile of scrap I've ever seen I've been saving it just for you. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do it. All right, I got a couple extra bins here. So what's going on, man? Nice seeing you. All right. All right. All right. All right. So you're gonna show off your new build? I went, uh, I took it around yesterday. 
all the rest of is, them is it so that's a two stroke right yeah this is a two stroke okay and all the rest of them you have to paddle and then you release the clutch okay to start it yeah and this one here, electric start yes That thing's not as loud as normal uh, two strokes. And this one, and I, I really enjoy this one, and I put these lights on it. I'm cruising around town with it. <laughs> so this is just a regular beach cruiser with no yeah. gears. Yep. Wow. I hit those little lights. They really what? Really oh, I see it. At night, they really are. Uh, I had this big LED light on. Okay. It's trying to be seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, the rest of them, this one here, you take it, you paddle, get your equipment, mental going, release the clutch, and it pops over like the Okay, so you're literally pop starting it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. That's the rest of them. Um... Then, put it off. Man. <laughs> all right, so you got the, the fuel and gas mixture? Yeah, they're all two strokes. Okay. I do have a four stroke. What? That one right there has a Predator motor 212. That's like a go kart motor, if you can see that. Yeah, that thing's large. That thing sounds like a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. If you don't watch it, if you hit the throttle too fast, the front end will just take off on you. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> no, you want the steering mechanism to stay on the ground. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. Yes, that's a beast. Good stuff. Yeah, and all these for sale, but it's, it's been slow. I don't know. Okay. Now you have a Facebook page for uh, for Greg's bikes, right? Oh, yeah, Big Greg's motorized bicycle. All right, Big Greg. Facebook and Google. Okay. All right. That's what people uh, start calling me and like, do you do regular bikes? I'm like, yes, but my thing is motorized bicycles. Okay. So I have been doing a lot of tune-ups. Okay. A lot of yeah, because you and I were just talking about the local bike shop closed down. Yeah. So a lot of folks are coming to you for the tune-ups. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> and you saw my video that I made yesterday of my e-bike. Yes. And I'm 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 not that mechanically inclined. <laughs> um I was telling you that uh, half of the clips I had to clip out of the video because oh. it's me getting frustrated and putting stuff on backwards <laughs> and um so what made it into the video was only the stuff that I actually like oh, kind of yeah, yeah, well, because I clipped out the best oh. stuff. It took me two hours to do it, but you know, the video is only 45 minutes. But that battery, wow. you, had, you said that they had to take like 64 hours to charge? No, 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 six to seven. Oh, I thought yeah. I could have sworn Ooh. I was like 67 hours. That's crazy. No, oh, yeah, you know what? I probably did say it all backwards. No, six, six okay. hours or seven hours. Okay, yeah, okay, cool, man. I'm impressed. Uh, I'm impressed with actually how, how neat you are no, with this stuff. Because I, I would have a pile. I wanted to run into you on my motorbike while you was on your electric bike. Ah, <laughs> you race? No. The, there's a little hack that I did on, on, on the controller where it went from 20 miles an hour to, or 22 to 25 miles an hour. Really? So now I'm, I'm going too fast. And how do you actually wipe out on your bike and get your ribs? Um, I was on my trike. And I went up this this embankment um, to get onto over by NIU, uh, went onto the bike path. But as I'm going up, the front wheel starts slipping. I start going backwards, and then I went sideways, and I just tumbled straight off of it. Oh, okay. So actually, I didn't wreck; I fell off of it. Okay. You know, but I broke some ribs because so I, I, going up the embankment and the tires start slipping i start coming down i fell off this way so the ground was actually down here oh, oh. so I, I went pretty far and i hit my wrist really bad it's still it's still numb i didn't know how you recovered so fast i broke three ribs and i was out for three months no it's it's been almost two months on the 30th it'll be two months i'm like he lifting stuff i'm like no dude i was i was messed um i didn't do anything i mean i didn't do a video i didn't do anything for close to 10 days.
Greg, hooking me up. I'll see you around. Wow. Good stuff. Man, that's pretty dense. <laughs> Not as dense as you, Paul. No, I think that's a, that's a significant uh, amount of scrap. So let's go ahead and pick up this operation in the morning. Good morning. It's the next day. And I got mostly a full truck, but there's some scrap on the curb. This is kind of cool. I put this up in my bedroom. I can put it in my dirty clothes hamper. I guess just right here in the middle. Are you kidding me? My truck is full. And there's a dryer. So just put on the hood. Just strap it on the hood. <laughs> I don't know why I part. <laughs> Sometimes my brain. Parts are not my friend right now. A phone. <sighs> not exactly sure how I'm, how I'm gonna do this. I 
pick it up and toss it on there. The dryers are lighter. Hmm, let's try it. I don't want to fall off this way. <laughs> All right, we're not going to do that. I'm going to do a ratchet strap. Now. I think I can. That way there's at least a little bit of, uh, of like pull and, and a little bit of a tailgate. Uh, don't have any decent spots to anchor. Yeah, I won't pull up. A decent spot to anchor. Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, I think in there. All right, cool. All right, so that's anchored. I'm just doing this so it doesn't fall off right now, that's all. But this one, I can't quite get in there. Huh. You know what? Right there, that's attached to the vehicle. There's no hook. You know what? I'll put that to work. Tighten right up. Hmm. All right, cool. You're on pretty well. One more. It's a bed extender. Yep. What's up, Scrapper? You know, I'm a proponent of stuff that's mildly dumb. I think I'm gonna make a YouTube short video of my patented scrap and pallet man bed extender. <laughs> Come on. When I was a kid, these card tables 
Um, I use it in my room, in my bedroom. I have to admit, I had, I, at least I believed I had the coolest bedroom ever. I had posters and little pieces um, all over the, the walls. Oops. It's not quite what I was meaning to do. Hey, you're good. Yeah, it, it, um, I had like heavy metal posters and just like little things just completely lining every bit of wall in my room. It was extremely artsy. Oh, wait, no, the other way. All right. <laughs> I hope the neighbors don't come out. They're going to know I lost my marbles. Okay, I'm going to go from here. A video. All right. Do you ever find yourself finding too much scrap on the curb? All you need is a Scrap and Pallet Man's patented bed extender 102.5A. Yeah. Get more scrap. And you can turn your... All right, let's start that over again. All right. Let's go from right here. Do you ever find yourself in the neighborhood Finding too much scrap? All you need is the patented Scrap and Pallet Man bed extender. You can go from 8 foot to uh, 10, 11, to 25 feet. You can get as much scrap as you want. Ratchet strap, sold separately. <laughs> so stupid. Hey, do you have a quick 20 seconds? Very nice, very nice. Summertime, summertime, some, some, summertime. Before I forget. What's up, gooses? There's no way the camera's going to pick up that airplane that's probably four miles high. Um, yeah. I'll bet it is. Well, I got a head rush from looking up. <laughs> Hopefully it's not full of gasoline. It doesn't look like it. What is that? That's trash. Where are you going? About right there. Perfect. Wow, what a nice day. There's like no wind. It's not light and variable. It's nothing. I have a feeling this is a heavy load. So you guys liked having my son in the uh, a couple of videos ago. And to be honest, I, I did too. <laughs> I was irritating him so bad because I was trying to talk, you know, Gen Z. You know, they have like a just different vernacular. And uh, <laughs> he said, Dad, your vids are mid. I'm like, my vids are mid? Don't be op, bruh. My vids are slap. <laughs> Okay, um, 4,540 pounds. Yeah, that's the LED display up there. 7540. Perfect. Perfectamente. Please don't come out. I'll go way over here. Yeah, 
It was funny with my son Jesse. No, seriously, it, it irritates him so bad when I'm all, you know, attempting to talk Gen Z. When I left, I'm like, stay smooth. <laughs> that was the wrong thing to do. I got the biggest eye roll ever. Um, I'm going to back up about 15 more feet. <laughs> I don't know why I get a kick out of just teasing that boy. Um, and it's not just him. It's, it's anybody that's right around 15, 16, 17, 18. <laughs> they, uh, they just have a different different set of words you know like stay smooth is uh, hey be cool have a good day um slap means it, that's like that means it's awesome <laughs> uh what other term have i been hearing lately um mid yeah mid means like unimpressive you know <laughs> so if you're like yeah that that scrap was mid and it's unimpressive uh yeah i think that's that's the ones i've been hearing lately i don't know about you i think words and language is just some cool stuff i guess i don't need to worry about that until it's until i'm done all right come with me sir i hear crows Get off my truck. Wow. Seriously? That scrap load is not mid. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hop up here. Uh-oh. not where I wanted it to go because I got to get all of this off I need for it to I don't want it piling up here because then I have no place to throw it hey <laughs> scrap fishing um, you're going to stay connected aren't you uh, come on, dude. I don't know. That's irritating. I need for you to not be tangled, dude. I can't quite reach. Now, hopefully this scrap load is not going to be problematic. your head take forever. <sighs> I 
This one, a dump trailer would be wonderful. Okay. This is a workout. Yeah, need to have room for this stove to come off so all this stuff piling up here can be a problem. Then I won't be able to close my tailgate. Yeah, that's the mega um, dump truck. Yeah, so he's gonna back right in here and just dump it all. Yeah, it's gonna be quite the operation. Chicken kick. Wait a minute, you're full of water, bruh. scrap that's an ankle biter Was gonna keep this but I think I'll find a better one yeah toolbox Keep that around? Maybe. <laughs> All right, gonna go that way. Wow, just catching on something. Almost done. I think I'll keep these pot metal. It's like an aluminum alloy. All right, I think we're good.
to the my tailgate was singing. Yeah, all right, I think we're good. Picked up everything. That's a nice trailer. So it looks like two gates to it. That's impressive. I'm thinking what, probably 900 pounds. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 900 pounds, but I don't know. We shall see. Let's calibrate. 260. Good morning. What's up, Michael? What is happening? Whoa, you're changing things up. Right I don't, I don't do well with change, man. I'm terrible with change too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So when's the sneeze guard coming down? Are you gonna keep know. it up? I, I, I'm tempted to take it down. Are you? There's really no reason for it. What kind of like it? It keeps you from being sneezed on. That's true. <laughs> nice, nice. Cool, man. Thanks. You're welcome. I'll see, I will you. see you. Yeah. Got some dimes. Ah, <sighs> thanks God for this beautiful day. Ah, <sighs> this is room temperature out here, low humidity. God, you're amazing. Thank you for for what you provide. Thank you for life, thank you for love, thank you for the reminder of who you are, that, um, that we're made in your image. Just remind me that I, that we are made in your image, that you love and you create. Ah, thank you for that. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, what do we have going on here? $110 a net ton, so it's a little bit less than six cents a pound. Um, 1,060 pounds, so I got $58.30. I got a 50. That's awesome. Yeah, got me a Grant, President Grant. Yeah, he's amazing. If you get a chance, look up some of the awesome stuff that Grant did. He actually kind of finished up what Lincoln started. Yeah, that's some good stuff. You know what else is good? You. You are good. You're amazing. You are awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me. Just be awesome. Stay awesome. Do your thing. Be you. Olivia, would you like to go out? Hmm. Do you want to go outside and go potty? <laughs> yeah, just regular air conditioning is too cold for her. She likes it much warmer. That's why she has a sweater on. Olivia? I'm talking about you. Can you tell? Hello? Olivia? Hey! You wanna go out? Come on. Huh? Wanna get your toy? Mm -hmm. No? Alright, come on, let's go out. Yep, come on, let's go out. Go out. Come on. Let's go out.